everybody, welcome to the channel. I wanted to get this to you guys sooner, but unfortunately we didn't have snow and it got a lot colder and the holidays came, so I wasn't able to get it over to you guys. Uh, we did the Yardmax log splitter. Yardmax is kind of new to the scene. Um, they're pretty good stuff, actually, powered by Briggs. And I mean, that's the key, that's the heart of the system is the engine, which is gonna give you that reliability. I mean, the log splitter, just the other day, it was sitting outside in the freezing cold, buried in snow. I mean, snow was in the pole star. Yeah, we actually had it, it was frozen in here. We actually just beat at it a little bit. Yeah, and, and even when we were pulling it, you could hear it when it first started. It chopped it up. Yeah, it was chopping up the ice, Couldn't but man, it started it. up and it was sitting out there. It got pushed, snow pushed up against it, and probably when we were messing around with it, it had been like five degrees outside, so it started up good. Yeah, it was. It cold. was uh, and I was impressed with that log splitter. I don't know if. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's been sitting outside ever since we've had it. We've had it like three months now, and it's just sitting outside in the elements. When we go, have to go out and get wood for Eric, mm -hmm. we just fire it up. It's sitting out at the tree yard, and we just go ahead and use it. This is their power sweeper. Um, you know, obviously, what you're looking at, like, why would I need a power sweeper? Well, that's what I thought at first. But then when I got it, this is probably one of my most favorite outdoor power pieces of power equipment I've ever why? used. Why? It's just awesome, man. But it's, for what? What do you for use snow, it for? For snow, for sweeping, for cleaning debris. More so than like what a blower would do? Yeah, I think it's better than a snow blower. No, no, I mean like a handheld blower to clean, you said debris. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. This thing gets down to the pavement and just, they said you could also aerate with this. I tried, I don't think I had it adjusted right because it just, nobody was through my yard. <laughs> but I've seen them aerate with them. You just have to adjust these things right here and just keep it up. But you know what, I don't need to aerate. So you know, this would be good for a striper. To clean you know. parking lot. Yeah, like before you're about to stripe, that way you can actually really clean it off pretty good, and I would think. Yeah, there's only one negative to it that I gotta say is you get dirty. Very dirty. Dirt gets everywhere, you know. So I mean, because I mean, the the piece of area you're cleaning gets clean as a baby's butt. You could lick off it. But, but all that dirt goes towards you. All that dirt goes towards you, and yeah. off to the. I mean, most of it goes to the side, to be honest with you. No, I know. But it yeah. does. You know, when you're going forward, it does come up depending on the wind. Well, you got, it throws it up. Yeah, like, and the wind will actually push it back unless you're going you yeah. know, with the wind. You gotta play the wind. Um, but you guys. For snowstorms, I mean, I would never even buy a snowblower. I would just get this. Now, granted, if it's like six, 10 inch snowstorms, this is gonna have an issue, you know? But for anything under six inches, this thing goes through it like really? mad. Really, it was going through that five inches we had the... Like mad. Really, like, no wow, problem. that's pretty like, crazy. no problem. That's crazy. Yeah, it just goes. And then what you can do, you guys, it's real easy. You just turn this and you can angle it. So if you need to shoot to the right, to the left or center, just right there. It's got the Briggs engine. It's got these big heavy duty off-road tires. Um, mm -hmm. which, you know, and you can adjust the height too, it looks like, huh? Yeah, we already talked about that, but thanks. No, I don't think you did. Yeah, I did. Nah, Remember I was talking about... You talked about area in your yard wrong, yeah. but Well, you, you can adjust the it. height, so you can minimize wear and tear, or if you don't yeah. want to dig in your pavement. This is good for people if you're just about to uh, still coat your driveway. Yeah, or striper too, I think. Yeah, or striper. But <laughs> basically what I can't wait to do is in the summer is I can't wait to just spray some solution on my sidewalk and wet it down and then go down with this to just scrub the sidewalk. Oh, even like the concrete cleaner stuff. Yeah, because yeah, there's a okay. lot of mold yes. on there right now. Yes, and I think okay. this would really go through and do a it good job. It would probably be a lot easier than using a pressure washer or power washer because you always have to sit there and it takes you a long time to do one square yeah, with this. Yeah, and it's uneven. Yes, exactly. And, this know, might be, yeah. okay, that'd be a A pressure washer, is, Eric's right, you have to be even all the way across and you know, you get one area too low or too high and you can see the pressure washer marks. Yeah. Another good thing that I really like about that I was kind of impressed with is this setup right here. I mean, usually when you see stuff like this, you know, it's kind of weak or it's, yep. it's wobbly. I mean, look at that. That is some solid stuff right there. I don't know who designed these things or whatever, but they are just solid. Like kudos to you. Yeah, and they fold down for transport. Up on the handlebars, you guys, you basically have the top is forward, the bottom is back, mm -hmm. and this controls your brushes. Brushes, and then that's your throttle. Yeah, super easy to start. Starts first time. Obviously, we're not going to start it in here. Um, when you do get it, if you do get it in a box, there is a little minimal assembly that you have to do. Uh, basically, just put this on here and extend the brushes out a little bit. It comes with these two orange covers and a couple extra brushes. I don't know if they do that for shipping to fit in a shipping container for better. Well, maybe. But, yeah, because yeah, that's the widest part of the unit. But uh, other than that, you guys, I got to say, Yardmax is highly impressing us. Um, I've been really impressed by that log splitter. Yeah, this thing has 28 inch sweeping depth um let's see what else it says dust collection bucket optional for parking lot and yard keep clean up clean up i don't know i haven't seen that or how that works but it looks like something goes here so maybe that's what that's for mm. 
Um, yeah. You know, it's just awesome. Yeah, it says right here, clears up to six inches uh, snow. And, I mean, you guys. That's wild. Yeah, never, like, yeah. you know, if, we, if it was snowing right now like six inches and we went out there with any snowblower or any plow, would not get it as clean as this does. And you know what? That's a safety factor, too, because if you guys live on a trail or an area where you're doing sidewalks where, you know, let's say, let's say you're a sidewalk management company mm-hmm. and you have to do these sidewalks where if someone slips, you're liable. Well, on one pass with this in the snow, there is no leftover residue to get icy. No, but it's that's gone. why you charge extra for salt. That's what they do. They charge extra. Yeah, but a lot of places you can't use salt anymore. Because salt is, you know, salt hurts the environment. Salt gets tracked into the building. You know, what if you're doing a kinder care? You want to sell them on, hey, we're going to do the salt for X amount. We'll salt your parking lot, but you want us to, you know, do this. You're going to get more business mm. with this because they're going to be like, wow, that was a clean job. I like this. So salt is the enemy. Salt I is like the enemy. Where you're going I'd be, with that, I'd be man. a good plow uh, yeah. salesman, yeah. you know, <laughs> snow account salesman. Um, you guys, the frame, everything on this thing just kind of screams quality. Uh, Yard Max, new to the scene. Uh, they're actually located, their corporate headquarters is right out here mm-hmm. by us in Libertyville. And uh, we actually got a chance to go out there, meet the guys that run it, real good very guys. Very cool, very cool. And uh, just see all the stuff they're working on, man. And I mean, they're just, you know, they're kind of like ego, but gas. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. Like, it's like an eagle, but it's just instead of well, no, gas. But eagle is very innovative. Yes, eagle is exactly. very good people, very marketing, coming out with things that you know yeah. fit the customer's needs. I That's agree. That's what these guys are doing. Yeah. Only they're sticking with gas. Yes. You know, obviously, which gas is nothing wrong with gas because you do need it when in certain situations, especially for extended runtime. Yeah. But I do like the Briggs. It runs good. I love Briggs. I know. You know what? I'm starting to like Briggs. Like before, I was just a Honda only guy. I was like Honda, 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 Honda. But now it's like the Chinese clone engines are so good that they just spank the Honda. I mean, not spank them, but they're just as good oh, as the but Honda yeah, engines. Exactly. But, you know, even Honda, I had a Honda pressure washer. It was hard to start, man. Really? I hated starting that I thing. I still love Honda. They still got some no, great, no, no. great Honda's stuff. Honda's a great yeah. brand. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it was hard to start. This thing starts right up, man. You just mm-hmm. click it. Boom. Always, you guys, use fresh gas. Yes. Use stable and stuff like this unless you're constantly using them. Um, you know, that's just going to be the, the biggest downfall of any gas machine is putting bad gas into it, which happens, you know. It happens, you guys. It happens. It does. It does. But, guys, don't forget to uh, check out toolsinaction.com, Power Tool Forum, Instagram, and all the good things we have. We're giving away stuff all the time this year. 2017 is going to be a big year, great year, a lot of cool things. Um, and word to the wise, don't loan out any of your gas-powered equipment to anybody. I don't care who they are. Tools in Action. Don't. Hashtag TA Crew, you guys. You're not borrowing it, Eric. Stop it. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com. Dot com.